You ever find yourself frustrated using the native Civil 3D tools for quantity takeoffs? QTL Manager is clumsy and error prone, and then data extractions only find AutoCAD objects. We have Civil 3D tables that do not combine similar items. Or do you find yourself manually counting, and that's a serious waste of time and also error prone? Well, if you have the CTC tools, you can simplify all that by using Data Wizard, which is in the Sim Project Suite. Now, Data Wizard creates project specific legends and quantity takeoffs for both Civil 3D and AutoCAD objects. Now, both of these objects can be anything from feature lines, parcel segments, and alignments. They also can be blocks, Kogo survey points, survey figures, multi lines, lines, polylines, both 2D and 3D, and hatches. I would like to show you the quantity takeoff. So let's switch over to this other drawing tab right here. Okay, let's go to Data Wizard and select Setup Table. Now in this first dialog box, we only need the current drawing again. Let's click Next at the bottom. In here, we want to select Blocks, Feature Lines, and Hatches. In here at the top, let's click on Exclude Layers, Frozen. Now let's click Next. In here, we want to select Data to Extract up top right here. Then we select what we need. This time we want graphic, layer description, area, 2D length, and then count. Then select OK. Then let's hit next. OK, in this dialog box we want to start up top here from left to right. Uppercase is OK. Next we have graphic cell size information and that is OK also. Next we have include legend title. We will check and type in quantities like you see right here. Also check headers. Now here at the bottom, we only want AutoCAD table selected and we want QTO table. Okay, we're done. Now click finish and place your table where you want it. So this table displays everything we needed. Description, count, it shows the graphic right here, shows 2D length, and the area. All that information is here. Now let's go back to the drawing and make copies of this overhead light. I'll just place a few of these copies all over the drawing. Now that I have these, our table has an incorrect count of the amount of lights in our drawing. Now let's go back up to Data Wizard and select Update Table. Select our table right here and look, it updates our table to the accurate amount of overhead lights we now have. Quick, simple, and easy. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.